Steven, and today we are going to be making hydrochloric acid. But before we get to that, let's understand the reaction that's occurring. So we have sodium chloride, and that's going to be combining with sodium hydrogen sulfate. Now, this is going to be combining with sodium hydrogen sulfate, which typically, when using, is going to be in aqueous form. So, the result of that being heated is H. O otherwise known as hydrogen as um, as hydrochloric acid. Now this is an aqueous form. So we'll get to making hydrochloric acid, thank you. Okay. Hello, I'm Steven and what we're doing here we're creating a um, hydrochloric acid solution using sodium chloride and sodium, um, keep forgetting the chemical, uh, sodium hydrogen sulfate. This is making, um, the reaction occurring here, the burner is 70% ethyl, ethyl, ethyl alcohol by volume and the solution of hydrochloric acid we'll be making will be 7% hydrochloric acid by volume. Um, so the sodium chloride here is with the Sodium hydro, um, is with the sodium hydrogen sulfate, and that's going through our distilling apparatus. In meh, got some see the gas. up in meh. The initial bubbles are forming here, and gradually we'll see the water drawn up into the cylinder, and that will be the. Put the box in the bottom. Be careful. I don't want it to be directly over. That's fine. That's fine. And close the door. Okay, for those of you that want to conduct this experiment at home, um, you should make your assembly as shown, and you're using five parts each of table saw, sodium chlorate, and five parts of sodium hydrogen sulfate, and you should see the bubbles of gas starting to rise from the lower end of the cylinder there, here it, and eventually we should be seeing streaks forming in the liquid. Um, because the densities are changing because the hydrogen, the hydrochloric acid is going to be forming in denser regions, so we should see collect up in the cylinder. Now we're going to remove the flame. Move the boat. We're going to put the burner cap, put the cap. on, and we're going to allow the remainder of the reaction to occur at this time. 